Hi everybody, today we are going to be doing the second unboxing of the Water Lily. Now this is a slightly different unboxing. So originally we did the unboxing of this unit here. Now this unit came with a dual USB plug and um, apparently it was a previous model from I believe the 2018 um, series and they've had some issues I was told with this dual USB plug so uh, actually uh, shortly after the first unboxing video aired uh, the management or the customer service from Water Lily saw the video and reached out to me and told me that there was an update for the uh, Water Lily uh, different um, uh, plug so they promptly sent that out to me so today we are going to be doing the unboxing of the Water Lily upgrade that I received and we are going to have to uh, change out the turbine with the existing housing so we'll uh, go through that process as well so uh, let's get to it and uh, check out what we've got here All right. oh here's actually a uh, nice little bonus it's a water lily spork and it is actually a metal one it's got a little carabiner in here so we'll take a look at that after And uh, here is the new turbine itself. All right. Okay, so we've got this, some extra stickers in here, decals. Uh, another, looks like another little lanyard. This looks actually, this actually looks like uh, the one of the accessories that you can buy um, on their website. It's a rope tensioner. Um, but uh, they've included that in this little upgrade kit as well. Uh, a package of screws. And last but not least, a uh, new cable here with the uh, turbine, it looks like the turbine housing. So we'll have to put the center unit into uh, this housing here. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. All right, the uh, first thing we're gonna do is remove these um, stainless steel cables that attach to the rope, and uh, we'll take those out now. Um, I'm not sure exactly how this comes apart, so we're just gonna kind of figure this out as we go along. There wasn't any um, instructions in the box, but uh, I don't think it should be too difficult to figure out. Now I uh, just uh, pulled one of these completely out. Um, there's a screw with this little deal, but there's also this little uh, collar on here. It's almost like a washer, but not really. So just uh, if you're doing this yourself at home, uh, don't uh, lose that. All right, that's the last of the cables. Now, I assume that I will need to pop this apart. Oh, that comes off quite easily now that we've actually um, taken those screws out. And then we'll just uh, go ahead and unscrew the center piece. Now this piece was meant to come off in the center here. Um, there's a hand crank you can do for like a manual charge so that would go on there normally if you were taking that off but just pull this out and that looks to be about it for the housing here so um, this wire is actually connected directly to this black housing it's hardwired in there so this black shroud uh, you can't really change or modify it so this is one of the housings and I will go ahead and put this back together so don't lose any pieces now this uh, center cap they sent a new one with the new housing so I'm just going to put this one back in here and we'll go ahead and reattach um, the outer housing back on here but we will keep these stainless steel straps because I will need it for the new unit that they sent All right. All right, the one difference in the upgrade from the original Water Lily to the upgrade kit I received 
was these screws. So on the original Water Lily, um, it came with a screw. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's a little collar. It's like almost like a washer um, kind of a deal underneath it. The uh, new screws that uh, come with the upgrade kit um, are a special machine screw that has the collar uh, machined actually right into the screw so there's no um, issue with it ever falling off because it's part of the screw itself. So that is a very good upgrade in my opinion if you have to um, take these screws out. Uh, I guess the only downside would be if you did lose one of these you'd probably have to go back to Water Lily to get some more of these screws because you would never find these in a hardware store. But um, I do like that upgrade not having that little collar piece that can fall off. Okay, so now I've got the original housing off um, with the two USB connector. Uh, so I'm just going to put this to the side and we'll go ahead and reinstall the uh, main blade component into the uh, new housing. Okay, we have the new housing here. Now this unit has got a slightly different uh, configuration on it. If you'll notice it's a single USB um, piece and it's got this um, stopper that is kind of makes it a little more watertight. You can push it in there. It keeps any dirt or debris out of the end and I doubt it would be waterproof but it will keep it clean. The uh, old um, the old plugs they never had a cap over the top. It was two USB ports. Um, I'm not sure why they were having issues with this one. This one would actually be kind of handy having the two USB ports but for the most people, just having one would probably be sufficient. You can probably charge one thing at a time and it wouldn't really give you a problem. So um, we're just going to go ahead and put the um, blades back into this new shroud. All right. So once again, we're going to start by taking off the center cap on this and then we will pop the unit apart. Now that comes off very easy without the screws in it. And it, this is probably the simplest installation you'll ever be able to do on something. Simply put the blade back in over top. You can see it spins. Now the one thing um, I will mention the center, um, the center shaft on this, uh, it's not just a plain bolt. It looks like it's actually fairly, it looks like it's a machined, uh, axle on there so it, actually everything about these water lilies is really looks like a quality product here so um yeah it's the more i look at these things the more i'm impressed with how uh well the construction is so we'll go ahead and get this put back together all right so we've got the housing pop back on and now we'll go ahead and put the screws back on. Like I said, they've came with the new screw with the single with the collar that was loose on the other ones. This one's machined right into the screw. If you can uh, see that at all. Um, the other thing I actually really like on this uh, new set of screws that they came with, they actually have a bit of what looks like Loctite or some kind of um, stuff on the threads that's going to help keep them in place. The original screws uh, were just bare, so. I think you'll have a lot less likelihood of the screw backing out um, just with this little bit of uh, pre um, pre coated Loctite or whatever this is on here. So uh, let's go ahead and get our uh, stainless steel um, liners back on. Now, I'm just going to show you guys, the way these are designed is when you tighten the screw right up, this is still loose and allows it to pivot. So that's the function of that collar that we have been talking about, is to really let the screw, screw be fully tightened, but yet um, allow the stainless steel lanyards to be loose and uh, flexible and movable. So. It's actually quite a good design and uh, we'll just get the rest of these on here. All right. 
Okay, so I've gotten the um, the cables back onto the new unit here. However, I do have one little problem. Um, all these screws went in really well. I had uh, the final screw, I was putting it in and it uh, it was kind of giving me trouble seizing up about a, a third to two thirds of the way in. And um, so I was able to keep screwing it down, but I think there was a bit of a manufacturing defect and it ended up splitting the casing on this. So I'll just show you guys uh, what I mean here. There's a close up of the screw that split out of the side of the unit when I tightened it. As you can see, it's not, it's uh, just tightened down to that collar. It's not over tightened, I've made sure of that. Um, but this one, it was kind of stuck from the beginning, so I think it's just a manufacturing defect. All right, so we've got the new unit back together. Uh, this is just like the original one. Uh, the turbine turns very easy. It's a uh, very simple unit to use. So um, I'm very uh, excited to try this out this fall, but uh, let's uh, do one more thing and check out the accessories they sent with us. All right, here is the uh, spork that they had sent with this uh, upgrade kit. Now this is not aluminum or titanium. I'm guessing it's either steel or stainless steel and painted black. It's too heavy for titanium. Um, and it's way too heavy for aluminum as well. So, but yeah, very nice looking spork. Got their logo on it, uh, powder coated black. It's got a little serrated knife on this end. Be very handy for camping. And it's even got a little bottle opener, uh, a can opener and a bottle opener cutouts on it as well. So very excited to try this out. All right, here's the rope tensioner. Now, what this is for is if you are trying to get the unit square on into the current, you would hook this up to like probably one of the strings or sides on the uh, unit just so you could um, square it up with the current so you could get maximum flow through the unit. And uh, I don't really know how to attach the rope tensioner itself. I'd have to look it up on the site to see how to properly do it. Otherwise, this would be floating down the river on me. But um, just another little accessory to help with the performance of the unit. Right. But, uh, so that was very simple to upgrade this uh, water lily unit. It really was just uh, swapping out the fan blades. Uh, very simple, like a two minute job. Uh, we did have the issue with the one screw um, that blew out of the side. Now I do believe that was a manufacturing defect. It was just wasn't machined properly. Um, all the rest of them went in easy. I'll get a hold of the company and just let them know what I found and I'm sure they'll uh, replace uh, replace this just so we can get it working here. But um, very responsive. They seen the original unboxing video with the um, two pronged USB unit and said, told me right away that uh, they had this newer version that was the better and sent up out the uh, upgrade kit and included a couple little goodies in it as well. So. Um, I was very impressed with their customer service. That was uh, um, second to none, really. And yeah, good, great communication. And uh, I am definitely looking forward to trying this out this fall. If you want a water lily of your own, uh, just go down into the description of this video and there's an affiliate link you can click on and go to their site. They've got a whole bunch of um, other things on there as well that uh, we'll probably end up buying and uh, doing a review on, uh, including a waterproof bag. Uh, there's a flotation um, deal for holding the unit to spend it in a, probably a river or something. Um, there's a few other little goodies in there as well. The rope tensioner is uh, for sale in there as well that they've included in this upgrade kit for me. And uh, anyways, definitely go check their site out. Like I mentioned, there is an affiliate link in the description below and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, um, so now it, since the uh, unboxing, it's been a few weeks. Um, as you remember, I pointed out that uh, we had a little split in the seam here when we were assembling this last time. And uh, 
I thought it was maybe a manufacturing defect, but uh, after talking to the company, I think it was probably a user error. I think I probably over tightened this to some degree and it cracked the housing. But uh, fortunately for me, the company's customer service is second to none and they sent me out another one. Um, very fortunate uh, that uh, they were so understanding. And anyways, I'm gonna swap this over right now and uh, we'll uh, see what we have here. Okay, so um, I got the replacement uh, component and I put our hooks back on. This time there was no issues whatsoever. The screws actually went in quite a bit easier on this one than the previous one. Um, and uh, the fit was incredibly good. Tightened up, very simple to replace this. Uh, customer service, by far a second to none, very responsive and made things right immediately. So um, I'd say the only thing that I would recommend that they could do different on this for the blade um, is just mark on the front, like the intake side or something like that as a little marker, just so if you do say, set this blade aside and it gets tossed over, you don't uh, have to think about, oh, did I put this in the right way or not? But other than that, very simple, very clean, very well built. I really do uh, think this is an excellent product. Um, I can't wait to try it. I was going to try it this uh, fall, but we had an extremely um, early winter and then um, I broke the component, so I waited till I get that. But basically this thing spins incredibly easy so I'm very excited about it now um, when I had previously said that I think there might have been a manufacturing defect maybe there was but there definitely was some customer um, I don't want to call it customer abuse but customer uh, issues and this is why I'll just show you one of these screws that I put in the one that was in the piece of the housing that cracked. I actually tightened it to the point where it snapped. Um, the back side is still in here. I, I'm going to pull that out. But that is why um, that piece broke. I did over tighten it. Um, now that being said, it never seated. The, the entire screw never seated down properly. This On the new one that they sent, everything went in exactly how I thought it should fit um, on this old one that last screw it wouldn't uh, go down to the depth that it should have went in my opinion so kept tightening it i broke it definitely my fault but um, very good quality made very good uh, customer service and i am definitely recommending that you try one for yourself i'm going to uh, get out as soon as i can and do a load test on it but uh, I'm very positive that we'll have great results for this so anyways that was the unboxing it was a little longer than I anticipated it took a long time to make the video because I broke this thing but uh, I can't wait to test this so